here's Papa. Hello, 45 Alpha Charlie Papa channel, and today um, we just got the Canik. Uh, as you can see, we haven't even taken the stickers off. I haven't taken it out to shoot it yet, but the first thing I want to do to it uh, is I want to move the magazine release to the other side. I am right-handed, but I prefer the magazine release on the other side because I like to use my middle finger in which to uh, drop the magazine. So, you know, this video, we're going to take a look, and uh, I know it can be switched, and we're going to show you how that's done. First thing we need to do, we do need to drop the magazine. And make sure we're, you know, trigger's pulled, we're not uh, loaded, and let's pull the slide off. Pulls apart like a, very much like a Glock. Pull the little pins down here, and it slides right off. All right, what we need to get into is we need to pull this little piece here up enough so that we can slide the release out. It's kind of hard to do while on camera here, but we are going to try. Oh, we pulled the pin all the way out. That's okay. We, we can get her back in there. But this is the, uh, the spring on that magazine release. Let's go ahead and push it through here. And as you can see, um, it is mirrored... The same on both sides okay originally the spring was in this way when we switched the slide we wanted to go this way and it will correspond with a couple holes here this part goes in here this part will drop in here and clip in so we just need to figure out how to get this back into the slot all right well the trick now is to get this spring back into this channel here and you're going to want the the fat end here facing away from where you want the magazine release to be um, now you're going to stick it down here and you're going to try to put this piece here uh, in where the mag release goes through and then you can kind of take your finger and push the short end over and get it to kind of clip in there and then you've got to slowly draw it up uh, without it popping out of that groove and that's kind of the hard part of this whole thing uh, first time i did this it took me a good 45 minutes so let's see if we can get that uh, in there and up so we can put the release back in so kind of you know down like this try to get that that fat part in the well there and then you can kind of take your finger and push that shorter end into it and get it lined up in the channel now when you push this back up let's go ahead and get a screwdriver here we'll get this up against that that wall there but when we push this back up we want to keep our finger in the well here um, to try to prevent that spring from popping back out but we want to get this uh, pushed up far enough so that the uh, release will clear the spring and this is the, like I said, this is the the tougher part of it. Yep. Hey, alrighty. I'm gonna stick my screwdriver in here and slowly advance the spring up. I'm going to get that spring up far enough you can't where the mag release will will slide right back in. Alright, we got her lined up. Do 
get your light back in here, but you can kind of see how that is sitting there. Uh, let's come up, get the light back from the other other side here. There, you can kind of see how we're a little bit how we're sitting in there. We're see everything's just above the the block there. See how that spring's sitting in there? It's kind of hard to see. Um, Trying to get this light as such there you can kind of see how that that spring is sitting there just above the hole and you want to kind of keep your finger in there and push the spring down try to get it to engage into the the release driver in there push it up back towards the wall needle nose maybe get a little better grip on it but you gotta just kind of maneuver it back into the holes that spring drops there we go As you can see we're back in there um, it's kind of hard to see you know, it's dropped back into the holes there we go you can kind of see that see how that that operates uh, but that's how you swap your magazine release over it's going to take you some time it's not something that you're going to be able to do real quick uh, like I said, I've done this a couple times now, um, so now my magazine release is on the other side. Um, my only issue I'm going to have now is I'm going to end up putting it back, and I'll tell you why. It's pretty big, pretty big button here, and if you can see there, it kind of my finger kind of rests on top of it now that it's in there now I don't think it's going to be where to the point that I'm going to be dropping magazines um, but it's just kind of uncomfortable so if you're right-handed and you like to use your index finger to release the magazine um, because this is so big and even if I take the uh, this off there's still a little bit there well, let's we can take the extension off here because right now it says medium at the on the top and I want that towards the bottom if I leave it on but you know underneath it you guys still have a screw hole there but it is textured and you can still work the magazine without the extension on there and I might leave it like this for now we'll see uh, that might work out okay um, Canik does have replacement uh, releases so I might get one of those and you know try to smooth down the the release a little bit along the edges here so I can get my finger in there and I, it's it's not bothering me so much but that's how you swap your magazine release over on your Canic TP series hopefully this helps you out um, like I said it's going to take you a little time but uh, it can be done um, it's a little bit uh, clumbersome I guess but uh, you know take your time patience may take you four five ten fifteen tries just like it did me the first time around um this is 45 alpha charlie papa channel and i am out thanks for watching please subscribe